Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome to the final part of Snowtopia, where your boy is building the world's greatest ski resort. Guys, we've got so much work still get to done right now as we bring this to the end. If you have enjoyed this series and this episode, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're under around here, make sure you do subscribe so you are notified for what comes soon on the channel. But we have got a lot of work to now get done. We've recently researched a lot of stuff right now and we've not long got implemented. And if I go all the way to the end, all the way down, the panoramic restaurant right now, the massage center is stuff that we've all got in pretty recently we've got to continue the extensions and the expansions and now what we've got to get research is a bunch of stuff that is going to help out the maintenance and rescue and all the other behind the scenes stuff that needs to get done uh, right now we need a lot of um, assistance for skiers which we've got to continue to get up and working so right now we're going to get research and then a bunch of stuff that's going to help the movement of all of our staff members. This will help us too, the ski patrol lodges, uh, 200 meters per hour movement speed boost. That's gonna be very, very important right now. Uh, we've pretty much got the 12 person gondolas all up and running too. And also we've got to get more and more stuff getting done. So, you know, pretty much, researching everything right now now we left it off last episode then where we kind of focusing on all of our skier uh feedback right now we're trying to get the averages up a little bit more we've just recently creeped into the green i'm hoping we can end today with kind of um you know in, in between the 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 two greens there i don't think we're gonna do it but we can keep progressing and moving forward now the old school snowbirds right now need to visit some massage centers this will really kind of boost their needs right now too. Um, but what we need to also look at is buildings that are pretty much not doing anything. So I can free up some volunteers for these new buildings that we're going to start implementing in. Now, currently we got a lot of skiers waiting for assistance. So let's take a look at our volunteers' priorities. Uh, the protection buildings, the ski patrols are right up there. But for some reason... We have a lot of needs right now for those guys. So I'm not going to jump in it too soon, too quick just yet. But we have the self-service restaurant down here, which the workers is asleep. This large shelter has always had no one going into it. So we will kind of get rid of it right now. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, some of our services that we do have on the go. Uh, we, some of them have really high, like high attendance. Some of them have no attendance. So... We kind of got to go through this now. Let's re let's kind of sort it by type, and we can kind of see what's going down. We have a tea room here with nobody in it, so let's kind of take a look at this tea room. Is it this one? It is. We're gonna get rid of it, which does kind of break this up, which is a red root, which I'm gonna also destroy and get rid of for just a hot minute. We'll come back and add those new roots in, but I just want to go through all of this. So then we have another sunglasses store right now, which this one doesn't have any workers in, which was kind of taking the heat for the, the amount we've got going around here right now. We'll get rid of it, even though we could probably do with keeping it in. Um, but again, I've got to go and free up a bunch of volunteers. Another tea room right now, which is pretty much empty, is... Is it this one here? Uh, yes. Get rid of you, which does kind of kill off this ski slope. Which will get, it's a red one again, so I'll get rid of you for just a hot minute. This sunglasses store right now has a high attendance. I will get rid of it and move it. I'll replace it back in. So, um, services, where is it? S sunglasses store right now. I'm going to place it just in here. So we've got it back in, in, in a sense, just there. Um, back to these services again. So... Another tea room with no attendance, or is it now all kind of slightly changing? It is now all kind of slightly changing, and we've kind of moved them around. Another sunglasses store, which is currently closed. That's the one we've just literally built. A small shelter right now with no volunteers on. I'm going to keep that there for just a minute. There's no point in me getting rid of buildings with no volunteers, because that defeats the purpose. Um, we have high volunteers in stuff like these buildings right now, which are we really seeing? that much change i've just recently got these in as well this ski shop so we'll kind of hold on to them we've got quite a few of the fast food places right now which we can also get rid of so this is at the top up here right now yikes we're gonna have to get rid of you you are not the best positioning for us small shelter we get rid of you as well which does mess up my slopes all over again we got a black slope and we got a red slope we'll get rid of these real quick 
And I'm going to re-add in that black one right now because it is quite important that I do have these black roots in. So down to here. And am I only really getting the kind of the, the black mark coming down there? I think so. So it's not enough to rest to kind of have it as a black root. Where else could I squeeze something in? We've got this coming down to here. Ooh. See, that's where you want it. Down to there. That's where you want that root. And is it possible just to kind of pull off another root going down here? Now, I don't mind how this ends up. We'll bring it down to here as well. But by dividing that, that becomes a red root. I'm not liking the look of that. How that was originally... There we go. Black root. You best... You best become a black root right now. We'll fast forward this. I'm not look I'm not very confident in the roots that have just been created. I I'm not looking very confident right now. So that kept it in. That is got a few little black little sections right there. It's this one right now, which it had a huge little section for the black rated dangerousness of it. We now just gotta wait for the builders to get over here. That's something guys as well. We can now slowly start to reduce the amount of building that we got. See that's a red root. I'm not happy with that. Not happy with that right, right right now. So where oh can I push it? Turn it. I've completely lost all of it because of this weakness. Well, it's not that weakness, it's more this. If I destroy you and destroy you and take it from over here then. Bring it down and just connect in we still get that little bit there which should make it what i want it to be made so we'll focus on this then at least we got that back in and can continue this is just gonna have to be what it is really isn't it yeah um right so that is red i'll treat it as a black root there we go and i won't mess around too much of anything else so leave it as it is leave it as it is so back to these buildings then. So the, the fast, um, fast food restaurants. There's a few in many different locations that nobody's really going to. So I can free up quite a few volunteers by not having them in there. Uh, fast food place again. This small one over here. Where are you? All the way over here. Now again, it's leading us over to a, a snow groomer, which will get rid of you to destroy you. And where is where is this place? It's just such a random location, isn't it? Ski patrol, shelter. That's really what we should be having at the top of the mountains. All the food places should kind of be at the bottom of the mountains. Again, makes sense. There's not really much logic in what I've kind of done or thrown places to be. So again, there's more in that we got to kind of sort out. There's another one up here. Problem is with all this is... All these buildings, as good as they are in this location, I'm going to destroy them all. And in return, I am going to place a ski slope that goes down. This will free up a lot of workers. A dramatic amount of workers. Right, what, what are you doing? Don't, don't do that, fool. All right, boom. Okay, won't won't quite go <laughs> go where I want it to go. What if I bring it up here and we narrow it this way? Boom. See, they can then ski to there, so they can kind of go this way. So the only thing that they couldn't do was go back from there to there. But that kind of brings them up. They can go down this way, which leads down back to here. We need something that will make them cut this way if they're coming down there. That's kind of what we need on that front. Okay, what I on. Before I do, that gets treated as a blue root, so it doesn't really matter if I do split it all up. So I could split it to there just to have something like that in. So these guys coming up to there could go down there, this way, down to here, then get the thing going up. So they still can go the routes that I want them to go. But that would have freed up so many 
volunteers as well by getting rid of a bunch of those buildings. Yeah, it would have knocked some of my ratings, but again, I'm trying to fine-tune this whole business right now. That is what I'm doing. So we reached the maximum number of volunteers, but again, we do need to kind of um, keep getting more in, which they, they kind of get dispersed, dispersed, dispersed is the correct word, around in various places. So small fast food restaurants right now, we've only got um, a few in. So we'll kind of see how those change. Um, again, is it sorting by type right now? By na We'll sort by name. That's another easier way to do it as well. Fair few suit bars. There's a couple of sunrooms. Sunglasses stores are always very, very popular right now. Uh, fast food. Okay, we've got a couple of them in. Salsa restaurant. Um, okay, so I think we're pretty much good on that frontage with workers. South service restaurant, we've got two of these in. Where's this second one in? Do I really need this second South service? It does have a couple of people going to it. They recently just got them in, so I've got to give them at least a fighting chance. I've got to give them at least a fighting chance to kind of continue. So we've just researched the heated gloves anyway, so what did that unlock for us next then? The ability to get the onboard scanner, so it increases the work speed of some stuff. Uh, heated gloves with the me mechanics and snow groomers. So snow groomers and the mechanics. So they work a little bit better, I assume. So now then, do we have we have another building closed still, which is this place over here? Um, we've just built this as well. I don't know whether it's worth us maybe getting rid of it. So we've got no buildings causing us trouble. Now, we'll get something going on down here now, then. I'm trying to figure out what's the crazier route. There really isn't one. All right, I'm trying to maximize that little section there. Ooh. Bring that down to there then. Gives us a little bit additional to get them skiers going down. And we did have one coming down here too, which I'm going to actually get back in. So a large slope. So I can literally bring it down to there. Could I continue it? Whoa. Dangerous. Like that. And then have a little section that comes off here. Straight down into there. Nice little bit of black rooting. Now that all comes down this way. So then I can have something that goes off here. Shooting straight down. Maybe connecting into here somehow. Like that. More connections benefit us, basically. Right, okay then, so skier needing assistance and we've got to sort out these ski patrols. So let me have a little fast forward then because we do have a lot of stuff going on. And I want to focus on that skier waiting for assistance. Now, is it that with the additional stuff that we do have coming in on the research, is that number going up or is that number going down? So ergonomic backpack right now helps the ski patrol lodges by giving them an extra 200 meters per hour movement speed. Now, once that gets researched, what then allows us to progress next then? So patrollers can barely, uh, in these temperatures, vehicles and patrollers can barely move. We have them to get up and running. So again, something additional that will kind of help them out with the antifreeze system. So with all this new stuff being researched, will that slowly bring down the numbers or is it just a case of I need more ski patrols? Do you see where I'm going with that? And then this one here, service trails, again, helps all maintenance buildings kind of increase. We won't do anything until this is fully researched because this will then fully allow us and let us know if I need more or whether just having that increases it. Because we're now down to 68, 69. Is it going to go back up to the case? Okay, back up into the 70 slightly. I'm just waiting for the averages and how they kind of change. Right, this is on 90%, 93, 94% right now. 
if we start to see the numbers drop dramatically, I won't build any more buildings, basically. So that's now done. So they have a higher increased speed of movement. So we'll give it a moment for that to kind of come into play. So we'll get the antifreeze thing kind of researched next as well. And how are we doing on that then? So it's mid-60s. Is it going down to the 50s? For the first time ever, we've seen it now in the 50s. Is that progressively going down? Now it's mid-50s. That number's actually going down. It's a little bit difficult to see, but that number is actually going down. We're now in the 40s. So ski patroller dudes are doing us justice. Also, what we're we about to get researched next. The anti-spring joint things. Okay, that's 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 a good one. I think. <laughs> I don't particularly know. Which oh no, it's okay, so spring joints. Ski toes have a, a little bit of an appeal boost. Then we got the chairlist appeal and gondola appeal. Again, it's just a, a kind of about making sure we're researching everything, isn't it? That's pretty much all we can legit do. So back into play then. How are we doing right now with our skier feedback? So we've actually gone down a little bit because we did delete quite a few of the buildings. But we're going to try and turn those around. So especially these guys right now, ski on one black slope for more than 400 meters. So what I need to do then is get the topography up and running here. And where do I... I mean, there's very, very dramatic slopes coming down. But these rocks are really in the way going down here would be a good one getting some form of a narrow slope going down but we've got to get something connected to it to give us that ability to utilize it so maybe with um, a smaller ski lift i can bring us just up to there and then with a narrow slope. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I could take it directly down, but... Bam. So we're now up to over 400 meters. 401, 404, 406 meters. in length and well that that's going to be a black route no matter what so that's going to be very very beneficial so fast forward that then that will give those guys exactly what they require and need for that slope right is this being built up on there so we've just got the chairlift i've gone i've gone for the smaller chairlift there because i don't believe there's going to be too many people on it so the details on that length uh 405 perfect Again, it's a black route, so again, that should, for the feedback for these guys, ski in a black slope for more than 400 meters, which would be this for these guys. So that should satisfy them. Um, well, the game is super laggy. All right, there's a skier right there. We're not going to see much change on this just yet. Uh, ski on two different black slopes for more than 400 meters. So that would also kind of give them a little bit of what they require and need. Um, red slopes for more than 500 and 1,000 meters. So we're seeing more skiers go down this. It is a bit of a pain to try and get us moving. But there's a couple of skiers going down it right now. It all takes time. Okay, two people have gone it for this one. So that will kind of slowly start to boost that. Nobody's done it on this one yet, but it, the arrows are pointing forward, so someone's starting to go down it right now. And this one, oh, a massage center too. Okay, I've got to get those buildings in as well. So we're starting to see more and more skiers going down, which is glorious. They are going to love this. Right, service buildings then. The massage center. Now that is for the red dudes. That is for the red dudes right now. Now, slope difficulty. All the reds. A lot of reds coming down this way. Okay, it needs to be over here. The massage center needs to be over here right now. So, if I implement this. Do 
just there, that will kind of help a load of folios out at this point. So fast forward that, jump back onto the research then. So friction sensors, reduces the wear and tear of a lot of the ski slopes, which is going to be a big help for us. We're currently doing the onboard scanner, which will then lead on to the peer training, which all maintenance buildings work a little bit faster as well. So everything all progresses in the white, right way. Right, this is now have this has now been built. So the attendance is starting to um, be utilized right now. Because there's more red dudes technically in this area because all the red ski slopes come down and filter to the bottom of this side. That's the whole reason why I've kind of built it over here. So then that should with the skier feedback start to see some climb up yet with the massage center. So we should be able to pull these guys back a bit. It just takes time. So these guys with that slope, that's gone up slightly. This one, 21 people who used it right now, which is over 400 skiers in the park. So again, it takes time for them to kind of get around the, uh, the park to kind of utilize these. Uh, these guys here are complaining about the skiing on a red slope visit high altitude food kiosks there is a few of them and these is is mainly visiting restaurants and stuff like that that's mainly what that is which again as time goes on it will slowly creep up so that's all we can really say isn't it that's all we can really say right now so decorations, maybe we should start to squeeze more of this stuff in to kind of make them feel a bit better. It does, the feedback wise anyway, appeal. Do they actually use this? That, that's, that's my next question. So if I got down some picnic benches, do they actually use it? If I dropped a couple of benches down... I'm just going to add a, a couple of little bits and bobs over here. Ski rack. Um, what else can I throw in that will be kind of beneficial? Is that like a little fire pit of some sort? Um, okay, that's pretty cool. I just going to throw a few stuff down to kind of see if it does add to the area slightly. Because you have a lot of skiers going past in certain directions. Right, let me fast forward now then. Do they utilize it? Do they use it? Do they sit down on it? Or is it purely just, as it states, decoration? Is that what it is? It's just for the sake of it being there, isn't it? Yeah. That's literally all it is. Get it out of here right now. Get it out of here. Right, these guys, then, are they creasing up? Yeah. So it takes time to pull them all back, but we will get there. So massage center is there. Only five people are now utilized that. Uh, visiting panoramic restaurants. It's all working. So ski away for assistance. Let's now down to the uh, low tens right now, which is really good. Still waiting for some snow groomers. So we've got to take a look at getting all that sorted soon. Uh, so what do these guys want again? Red slopes and lengths, visit high altitude food kiosk. Now, do we have... Well, first things first. What we, we just researched something else. I mean, the antifreeze. All men is building move speeds. Get that up and running as well. Do we have... Uh, oh, I forgot what color it was right now. High altitude food kiosk. Do we have any of them that are kind of currently overloaded? So high altitude food kiosk. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, okay, we have a couple of them that are really overloaded. One of them being over here. Is it, it's this one here, isn't it? So, service buildings, high altitude food kiosk. We'll add you in just there. So, spread the love a bit. Get more people going to this one because there's more kind of um, need for the area. That will then allow us to serve more people which these guys visit in the high altitude food kiosk um, they can 
we can literally pump those numbers up and hopefully turn these guys into a four star. That's what we're hoping for, isn't it? And that is what we're hoping for right now. So that will slowly move forward. So reason why these aren't that high. Fast food restaurant. Helmet rental. And a green slope for more than a thousand meters. What's this one then? What's the length of this one? This is a... Oh, only five... Only 500 meters? Really? Oh, yeah, because it gets split up there. And that becomes 100. Even that still is not as long as you would want it to be. So, topography. Let's take a look right now. Do you know what? Something up here would be good. If I can drag a... Chairlift up here. 12 person gondola is a bit too much to ask. <laughs> it really is. Definitely too much to ask for something around here. Uh, four person. I wonder if I can get it from over there up to here. So I can bring it up to there. But is that going to be enough people though to bring up here? Because there's definitely potential right now to squeeze something different over here. And there's definitely something there. Ski slope is bought by accommodations. Understandable. And how far could I, could I have taken this? So that's got to be there, unfortunately. Which, again, is completely fine. Uh, topography shows us that we're going up this way. So what I'm going to do is... That 12-person gondola... I'm going to take it to its... Hopefully... No, we won't do it like that. We'll do um, the four-person one. That would work that way. The four-person one this side. Let me spin round. Oh, it's not going to work that way. But then again, we are, are we going up or down? Are we going... Okay. Oh, can I not take anything from this side with this? Okay, we can do it this way. Up to there is good. Right, we're accessing different areas. I'm going to try and go for like a really, really long slope. Something that I do want to kind of take a look at in the typography is this sheer drop here. But then again, I would need to lifts. Do this two-person fixed thing. Is it better to do it from over here? Um, I'm trying to think. Now you gotta go. You gotta do it from this way, don't I? One person fixed. Cannot be installed here, apparently. See that could get. I need to. I need to get onto this slope. But there's nowhere for me to kind of take it from, unless I can bring it from down there. But again, that's not going to work. All I've got to do... Right, if I do it this way, I can kind of figure it out. There we go. All I've got to do is that. 
Because I've just got to get these guys here connected. I can do that with a... With a shelter. We'll go with a small one. There's no need for a large one. There we go. So it kind of connects them up. So trying to get a bunch of different access points. Oh, yes. So to there, and then we're dropping down serious big time style. I'm trying to figure out what, what's the best to maximize. Um... Sloping through. But I'm going to have to kind of divide this. Which is not going to be possible. There we go. Just so I can keep this route in. I don't think it's going to work out as well, is it? Let's see if I'm honest with you, no. I don't think it is. But I can maybe... I can definitely go for a large slope. Wow. Going down here to there. And can I pull up... A... Two person fixed to there. I'm going to have to build like another little shelter in or something to get it connected. Right, I know this is, this is pushing boundaries. Alright, get that to there. I'm getting that to there to take us, hopefully, to here first. Then some large slopes to then come down like that. A large slope to maybe come off here. Into there. I'm just going slope crazy. There are some beauties here. I'm just trying to get for as many red roots and kind of black roots as possible. To really maximize the, the skiing availability. There we go. So definitely got some solid red roots on the go again. The more the merrier for us. So that pushes up to there. I wonder if I can then drag another two person fixed. Boom to there. We gotta do another shelter yet. I don't mind it. Don't mind it at all. Again, we're pushing boundaries. So every, so you can get up to all the way up to this side from here and then kind of scale the way down again, which is pretty cool to see. Right, then I want to create a really, really long route. So topography right now is going to play a big part. We'll go for a large slope. We'll start it here. Kind of bring it down to here. So we'll ski all the way down. All right, we're going uphill as they will class it there. All 
Right, I'm trying to make it as long as possible. I know we've got to consistently go downhill. But with these, keep flipping it back and forth. Because they want like a really, really long route. I've already got it, the length ready. I'm going to bring it all with us. Okay, we can't connect into there, but keep coming down. Connecting just there. So that is the, that's the length I need. That is the length I need. So fast forward then. So this has got to be a green slope of a thousand meters. That's what it's got to be right now. So they're not currently building this one just yet. So we give it a second still. And wait for him to start building upon this. So they're probably still focusing on the top of the mountain we've just done recently. Also, the longer the slope, well, the, you know, that I, well, the longer the, the ski slope that I build, is that, you know, the longer it takes to build it? Oh man, the serious lag. Yeah, they're still currently over there building them slopes. Oh no, we're building this one, sorry. We're building this one. I just realized, I just realized. So it's going to be a green route, which it should be. Stats, it's really long. It is a green route. Very, very good. So play mode now. It's just then a case of waiting for people to get up here. Black route there. A couple of greens. Reds. Blacks. Loads of reds around this section. So then this is the meeting point here. So fast forward this. This is where you should see a lot of skiers now coming up. You also get green skiers as well, which is perfect. So there's all the green skiers right now going to make their way up here. Oh man, the lag. The lag, boys. Alright, there we go. <laughs> we'll just have it here right now. So green skiers are going to start going down this. We'll take forever and a day. We'll take forever and a day, but this is... I mean, we're satisfying these guys and we don't need to because they're already a five-star. They're already a five-star. Uh, these guys just need to visit more and more of this stuff, which we've got more of that in. In that one place, that should kind of bump up a little bit. So these guys where we've added in more black slopes. Look at that, 174 people right now. We just got to get more of them to visit small shelters. Um, oh, they're dropping down to a 1. Even though these are pumping upwards. Is it the small shelter side of things? I think it is. I think it might be. So, oh, we've got three slots right now for the researching. So what have we got left to research? And it's kind of go down here. So we've done all this. We're up to leather seats, which uh, appeals the chairlifts and gondolas. Reduces the wear and tension all over again. And is it literally just this, what we're now researching? Yeah. So then we've got the 10-person gondola. We've already got a 12-person, so it doesn't really matter. Don't really matter about that. But then we're going to focus on the reducing the wear and tear again. And the appeal, which is also something that we can select. So I can do gear reducer. Regenerative braking. Do the gear reducer right now. And same with this one as well. I can do gear reducer so the speed's a little bit quicker. Get more people up here because I assume there's going to be like queues or whatnot. I don't really know. But we're progressing forwards, boys. We're progressing forwards. Also, the attendant shows us where we're the most busiest. So, do you reckon we should build a small shelter down here then? I don't think we've got one. Uh, small, because they want to visit small shelters. So place that in there and fast forward. I'm hoping we get someone who actually volunteers to work in here. It's this building right now. Yes. 
So we do actually get volunteers. So does the attendance start to go up slightly? There we go. People are going to start using it. There we go. We might actually fill this up. Which there was a couple of on this gear feedback side of things. Wanting to visit a small shelter. Right. Who wanted the a thousand in lamp for these guys? There's now people starting to use it. Good. So I think they're just being very, very awkward. That's what I legit reckon right now. They're just being very, very awkward skiers. We've tried to satisfy the majority of all their needs. But they're being very, very foolish. So, look at that, maximum attendances right now. So they're still increasing, which is good. It's these ones we need to bump the averages up. Which, with the amount of stuff that we've just added in, it's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, visiting the small shelter is increased too right now because we've added that additional one in. Uh, these also want to visit a small... It's the uh, the Black Jacket Riders. So f visit free skis, that's more than 400 meters. Yeah, that's a kind of a tough act to follow really, isn't it? Yeah. I think that one's a tough act to follow. But how are these not a free star? I do not know. I do not know. We're satisfying bunches of needs right now. We're satisfying all the needs. It's a weird one. It is a weird one anyway. But the game is super laggy. At this stage, it is super duper laggy right now. There's not really much I can do. But the mood... Do I even want to know the moods? <laughs> I don't want to know the moods! Lines... It is beautiful. Appeal. Did that didn't really boost the appeal much, did it? No. Hmm. And safety, of course. Shows us the hot spots of the danger levels. Considering that this is the most dangerous side, there's not really that many hot spots, is there? There's more over here, which is hilarious. I suppose it's when, like, because obviously that's meant to be a green, then that's a bit dangerous there, so you have more accidents around this side. So, I get that, I get that. But guys, I think we're going to end it for here anyway. I hope you have enjoyed this beautiful series right now of Snowtopia. If you have, smash that like button down below. We've built a beautiful resort. Everyone's happy, even if we can't get these levels up any higher than what they are. I think it just takes time. Time is what I don't have. Because of how long it takes now to simulate the game and fast speed. But it's been emotional. We came, we saw, we conquered. And now I'm building 10 person gondolas and detachable ski lifts as well. I hope you have enjoyed the series up until this point guys. Please smash the like button if you have enjoyed it. Do subscribe so you're notified for what series does come along and replace this one. But I promise you it's going to be interesting. Lots of exciting things in the pipeline. Until next time. I will see you all soon, so good bye. -bye.